Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing the Harutagarn event, and as you see here, um, I'm, I've been using a couple different teams. Um, I kind of want to talk about the team building, the event itself, and uh, essentially how you're going to want to beat it, because I know it's a pain in the butt, he does a lot of dodging. I personally like bringing my Realm of Gods team, uh, specifically because when MUI Goku goes uh, MUI, <laughs> when he transforms, it's a dodge fest, it's a lot of fun, and he just pretty much destroys Harutagon. Um, plus on top of that, like, you know, they take almost no damage on this team. Uh, I ended up bringing Whis just because Whis was a tech type. Um, he does have a chance to stun, and he lowers attack and defense of the enemy. Though it doesn't really matter too much, um, high, ch uh, yeah, and well, actually just attack, not defense. A uh, high chance of stunning the enemy, and when he does a super attack, lowers attack, if he gets it off. Um, everyone else does a pretty damn good job. Uh, I ended up getting rid of, yeah, I had, I had this STR Rose instead of Whis at one point. But he didn't do enough damage because it was mostly agility stages, so I didn't bring him. Um, and I just had everyone else pretty much set up the way I did. The reason why I kept the Strength Godku card is because he links very, very well with the Ultra Instinct. If you saw my team videos, team building videos, you would know that. Um, I did not bring this team. Um, I brought my tech team. I tried it out. Um, a lot of people had pulled the new Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, I was not fortunate enough to do that, so I didn't do that. Um, I didn't. Oh, I couldn't bring him. But I brought a friend, and it was a lot of fun, so I brought this team. It was, it was pretty, pretty easy with this team. Um, they tanked a lot, so that helped out. I love this Trunks, by the way. I got a lot of dupes. Um, for those of you who haven't been following me over on Facebook, I ended up doing 16 multi-summons. None of them were recorded. Um, and I got two LRs, actually. I got LR Gohan, a dupe of him. So I opened up the bottom right dupe path, and I got LR Broly. Um, so LR Broly I kept because I'm going to TUR him, so that way him and his uh, LR variant can link together, and since they are very well linked, they, they do very well when it comes to linking. Uh, anyway, so this is another team I brought. Um, I did my Fusions team. The Fusions team was alright. It didn't do too horrible against them. Um, and then this is probably my favorite team. I love bringing this team um, because, well, you know, uh, the reason... Okay, let me let me try to explain it here. So a lot of people are like, oh, why are you bring LR Vegeta? You could put a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in, and a lot of people had said that to me. Well, here's the thing. You can do that. But when Harutagon, or when Tapion, will go into his Harutagon form, he becomes an Extreme type, so he doesn't have any key. He'll only have two key if you're running a double Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta lead. So I brought Majin Vegeta. So I thought that was a pretty good move. Plus, I could bring my um, Agility Frieza. He's the only one who actually links decently with Tapion uh, for two key, and you kind of need that when it comes to links before he transforms. So you want the two of them to be linked together um, when that when you're trying to run a Tapion uh, on main rotation. Other than that, I pretty much just ran Super Saiyan three uh, Vegeta with Super or sorry Super Saiyan Majin Vegeta with Super Saiyan three Goku, and then uh, Vegeta with Super Saiyan four Vegeta. And that's pretty much what I did for this team. Um, you could pretty much bring any 150 category team that you want here. Um, you could bring a, um, uh, I guess, a, a, a <laughs> Shadow Dragon team if you wanted to. Uh, what other categories are there around here? Let's see what we could do. Uh, I, I don't have Hybrid Saiyan, but I know you could do with that. Resurrected Warriors can do it. So pretty much any any type of category, decent category team. Um, Patara could uh, potentially do it as well. Um, so yeah, you could definitely do it without a problem. In terms of 120 leads, you're probably going to want to stick to either Tech or Super Saiyan 3. Um, or not Super Saiyan, uh, Agility. Uh, now, the thing is about this event, and I do like this event, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into it, and we're going to hopefully find a Super Saiyan, uh, a Majin Vegeta friend. Uh, just because it's it's definitely a lot uh, easier when you have that. Uh, real quick, before we jump into it, uh, the best way to beat the event to get him to stop dodging, you're going to need to go and grind out some of these Tapion flutes. Each flute lowers his bar by half. If you guys have really OP units, use both of them in one sitting. The following round, he will deplete that bar. Like his, the par, his bar will be depleted after you use two of them. By the end of the round, then his his uh, regeneration or whatever it is, it will weaken. And then you can go and attack him. So make sure your powerful um, units are the next ones on rotation and use both of them. If you don't have good units, you might want to consider using one, getting it powered down, and then going again. Um, this Gohan over here, you're gonna have to grind. I haven't done this grind yet. Uh, the Great Saiyan Man and um, the Trunks and the Videl, which is all farmable from this event. All these guys do well up against the Tapion event. So you, you could, if you don't have good good units, you're gonna want to get them at least one or two of them. Uh, Trunks uh, particularly because he is Tech type. Attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. Medium chance of performing a crit. So that's a built-in crit for him. So it's it's definitely pretty good. Um, over here, we're gonna actually take on the event right now. I kind of want to give you like an explanation of what was going on over here. Um, Mysterious Hero is stage one. You could actually farm out the physical Tapion. If you guys pulled the tech one, you obviously can go farm out the physical one, feed it into the technique one. Uh, you, I don't recommend Z-Awakening, though you can. You don't have to Z-Awaken the physical one. It'll just make it easier. Increase the tech one super attack. Definitely 100%. You want to get up to super attack 10. 
um, and then go from there. Uh, level 2 is where you get the actual medals. There's two different stages you have, like on Z-Hard and Super 2. Um, so definitely do that. Let's see, Herudagon is a powerful enemy that possesses damage reduction skills. These characters can nullify Herudagon's damage reduction skill and greatly increase the damage. So that is the Agility Tapion, his SSR and his TUR. This is the Herudagon uh, variant. The Physical and the Tech one, um, which are the same names. Uh, both of them link with the Agility one because the Agility one has Herudagon in its name. And then all, pretty much, the, well, the newer units, obviously. Um, Minota, I think that's his name. Um, or his brother, whatever his brother's name is. Uh, Great Seiman 1 and 2. The Trunks, who you're definitely going to want to get uh, Super Tech 10 and Z-Awakened. Uh, and then next year, you'll probably put in crits in there if you want, if you want to give him dupe system. I really wouldn't. Maybe the Freed crit, but that's about it. And then the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. Uh, this is the LR one. I Oh, man, I wish I pulled him. I didn't pull him. Um, it's funny because the two LRs that I did pull, I already had. Um, so I've been br bringing my Easy A Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, if any of you guys have the Easy A Super Saiyan 3 Goku at level 140, he makes the event a piece of cake. As soon as you, like, I, I can d get a double super attack with him, and sometimes he got additionals, and man, he just destroyed it. Um, so we're going to hopefully go ahead and do that. Uh, this event, you're going to need medals to uh, Doken Wake and the Agility Tapion into, well, his TUR Herudagon variant, um, which is pretty much just a little bit better than his other form. But honestly, I don't really like his passive on this. Reduce his damage received by 50%, which is awesome. He's a great tank. But he only gets a attack plus 150% and a defense buff when his HP drops below 50%. Um, it's only, he, He's really only good on the Herudagon event because of that... Um, he reduces his Phantom Majin Seal of, of Herudagarn. So, I, that's just my thing. I don't really think he's that great. It's very hard to... Well, first off, with this team, everyone's so freaking defensive. By the time you get down below 50%, you know, the event's almost going to be over. And let me tell you, that actually happened a lot. I got Dokun attacks before where I got below 50% health. Just because of how awesome this team tanked. Um, also, you have to... You can Dokun wake in um, the tech one if you get him. Highly recommend doing that. Definitely farm about the Super Tech 10 before you do that. Um, anyway, there we go. That's about a seven-minute introduction to the actual event. We're going to go take it on. The event usually doesn't take me too long. Um, I will probably bring LR if I don't see anyone else over here. The LR kid, Goten, and Drunks. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring him um, just because it's a lot of fun. I like those the, those kids. That are, uh, they actually make it a lot easier because a lot of these guys get the benefit from the key. Uh, so here we go. So we have a Sensu Bean. We have a Bulma for attack damage. Um, then we have the King over here for some key. And then we have the flute to actually reduce it. So let's go ahead and do it. Again, a lot of fun. I really like this event. Um, Bastard likes to dodge a lot, so you get a lot of dodging. Uh, I didn't, you know what? I completely forgot about the flute. I grinded out 77 medals before I remembered the flute was a thing. So just imagine my frustration. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go grab. Let's see. Hopefully I can get. To, there we go. Ah, damn it. One. That one only gives out one key. I hate it. And it gives it to Majin Vegeta, who needs a lot of. Oh, man. Well, oh, well. It's a, that's not a big of a deal. But, um, yeah, again, this event's a pain in the butt. Honestly, I don't think it's, like, an amazing event, because I don't think the cards are that amazing. The banner is awesome. I was running low on Elder Kai, so I did, like, 700 stones or something like that. And uh, I ended up getting a whole bunch of Elder Kai's, which is awesome. And I got a whole bunch of dupes that I actually really wanted slash needed. So uh, I'm not upset about what, um, what happened. <laughs> um, so, all right, cool. So he has a damage reduction skill, so we're going to let him go. He doesn't do a lot of damage, so we're not going to give him the um, agility orbs. We're going to let the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta get those orbs so that way, because he also does really good... Well, it increases the, um, the the Dokkan meter. So one thing I also try to do is to make sure that I get the same key orbs. Uh, obviously, it doesn't really matter on the agility team, because everyone's an agility unit, so you just want to get, like, you know, whatever you can. But, like, when you're running a Realm of Gods team or a category team and you have multiple people, if you, they're not going to do a lot of damage or you're not going to get a super attack off, try to line up the same type orbs so that way you can get a Dokkan attack. I have never had a Dokkan attack not hit, so just keep that in mind. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, alright, cool. So let's see over here. We have LR Goten and Trunks. Maybe four? We have no four. Uh, no, we have three. Alright, so, yeah. Um, yeah, there we go. We're gonna do this. So now we're good. And hopefully the Super Saiyan 3 Goku can get off that, uh, that Super Attack and actually land it. Um, so there we go. All right. I think, I don't know, hopefully the, oh yeah, the audio is still there. So what I did, I ended up getting myself a one eighth to one quarter chord. Um, so that way you guys can listen to the music of the game. That way I put it into the input because I got, um, uh, an amp that has two inputs. So that way I could actually record stuff. Never really did anything with it until now. So I'm kind of happy about that. It actually worked out to my benefit. You do not use the flute on this stage. I just want to like kind of hammer that part home. The stage is not meant for the flutes. <laughs> um, I just, it, it I, I want to make sure you guys don't make the mistake of, of you trying to use your food on this stage. There's no bar here, so don't do it. 
<laughs> um, the freeze is also really good because, again, he tanks, and getting the, the team health below 50% is almost near impossible. Um, especially when you land your hit, it goes. Oh, damn, he freaking dodged. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tapion, go do your... Or, sorry, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, do your thing. Don't dodge, don't dodge, don't dodge. Oh, damn it, he's dodging. Oh, man. Additional. Of course, whenever I get an additional and it's a normal, that it hit. Oh, anyway. So, um, I've had a lot of fun with this event. Um, I, I don't want to do it that much anymore. I really can't wait till I get the last medals for the, the Technique Tapion. It was definitely... Um, it was definitely a pain. I'm sitting there, and I'm just, like, grinding, 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 and I'm like, this son this SOB will not freaking stop dodging. I went, like, I think five turns straight without him, like, not dodging. Like, without him, uh, yeah, without him not dodging. And I couldn't get a single freaking hit on it. And I actually had to go through two Sensu Beans, and I had almost nothing left. I was very, very frustrated, I'll tell you that much. Oh. All right, cool. Let the Vegito get his thing. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. So we're going to throw... Um, Golden Frieza back up over here. I know some of you are probably going to be in the comments. Oh, of course you're never going to go and um, use up all of your... Uh, get your health down because you have all these tankers. Well, no crap. That's because that's what a tech team... Is. I mean, a, a agility team is. The agility team is specifically meant for tanking everything. Look how awesome their defense... Oh, but anyway, I'm going over here. I'm actually also on the wiki. Uh, I want to bring up the information about the tech um, Tapion. I think he only needs 35 medals to Dokken Awaken, so... Shouldn't it be a big deal? Let's see. Yeah, 35 medals is the only thing that he... Yeah, he won Super Saiyan 3. Can you land the hit? Land the hit? Land the hit? Do it. Oh, you SOB. This guy, I'm like so close to destroying him. Your world will be destroyed by me. I am telling you this. This is my promise to you. All right, there we go. Can we get three? Yes. All right, perfect. That's what we want. That's what we want. There we go. And we see we're going to use the blue now, even though Vegeta's not going to get off the Super Attack, because we want to increase that Dokkan meter in case we need it, you know? So Super Saiyan 3, Goku, usually does a lot of damage when he hits, but he didn't hit. Can he get an additional? Damn it. All right. Well, I know Majin Vegeta will definitely do his damage. You know what I kind of feel, though? Like, those who dodge, like Janemba and Harutagon, I feel like they shouldn't be able to dodge if you have an AOE team. If you have an AOE team, I feel like that, that there's no excuse for you to dodge. Nothing to dodge that. All right. So health is definitely not going to drop down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead over here. We're going to use two flutes. Um, it's not going to come into play on this round. See, his bar went more than halfway down. We're going to go use the other flute, just so we can make sure we're good. It's going to go all the way down to nothing. He will not re remove that barrier until the end of this turn. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give Balma up in here, just in case we get some attacks. And she's good for three turns, so it doesn't, it's not like it really actually matters too much. Um, and then we should be fine. We're not going to use any type of key buffs or anything like that. There we go, we have that. We want Tapion, maybe Tapion can get an attack in. Because he still does do that extra damage. And then Vegito will be good there as well. So we should be fine. Hopefully we are um, we can go and get at least one or two hits in here. But this guy dodges, man. He dodges everything. I actually kind of like it, though, in my Tapion. When he transforms, it's Herudagon versus Herudagon. It's literally nothing but Dodge Fest. It's Dodge Fest City. Ooh, look at that. He hit. That was awesome. And all that damage reduction, 50% damage reduction with the 120 team. Or, or that's not really a 120 team. It's a 90% team and a 100% team. So he's definitely doing pretty good. 190% buffs for the Super. And, uh, damn, look at that dodge. Harutagarn, earned, Harutagarn's power is weakened. Starts ro uh, roaring and everything. I think that was Minota. I think the other one, I forgot what uh, his brother's name was. You actually probably bring it up while I'm on the so I can start saying it right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Balma, we can't use her anymore. We're good. We have the, uh, the, oh, uh, the Super Saiyan 3, the, oh, no. Oh, no, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm definitely going uh, to have to, um, do this over. One second, guys. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, so we're back. Um, I have over here. I, I I couldn't do that. I need to make sure I got it, and I want to prove the point to you guys so that way I can show you how easy. It is. Don't make the mistake. It's kind of hard when you're when you're trying to talk in YouTube at the same time. Um, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna give him his power up over here. And yes, Mino Minota or Minota Mo Minosha is it Minosha or Minota? I've been calling Minota. I know it's an I A. Well, I don't know what the sound it is. And Hoy Hoy is the actual sorcerer. Uh, so we should be good here. We don't want we want him to stick with his uh, seven uh, twelve key. Damn it, he got his ultra in. Um, we didn't want uh, Majin Vegeta to do that. We really wanted him to keep a 17 key um, or lower because he does an amount, immense amount of damage. But it's all right. We have my Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's going to land this as long as this guy don't dodge. He still has the ability to dodge, though, by the way. Wow. Wow. That was awesome. 3.2. He got the critical. That's all it takes. He got that one critical, and we were all set. So that's seven, stone, that's seven um, awakening medals right there. And that's all it is. That's all it takes for this event. Again, it's, it's not that bad of an event, just you grind out 
those flutes. It's not that hard. You're going to need two per battle at least. So that's 11, 11 plus 5, 16. So you're going to need 32 flutes if you never lose. So 32 flutes if you never lose. And that's if you want the event to be easier. Go ahead and do that, especially if you have OP teams. If you don't have OP teams, uh, I don't know what else you're going to want to bring. The flute will definitely help you out. Um, just bring a mono tech team. And I haven't done that. I'm probably not going to do that. Maybe I'll jump and try it on a live stream with just like a 70% uh, a tech Super Saiyan 3 uh, Gotenks team. Uh, maybe that will do me pretty well. And I'll bring like a friend. Uh, 120 liter or something like that if I could find them. But anyway, guys, that's it. Um, that's all I have. I don't have the actual Tech Harutagarn, so I can't actually go and Doken Awaken him. I'm just you know, prepping the metals. Uh, I want to go and show you. Not all of these are going to be here. Uh, well, not all the uh, cards I pulled are going to be here because it fits a dupe system. But this is my dupe Broly that I got. I got a dupe of this uh, Boo, which I'm really happy about. I need to grind him up. Um, I got Hoi to Super Attack 10. I got his brother. Where the heck are you? Um, well, he's up to Super Tech 10 also, and I'm pretty sure that that's, that's everything I have over here. I ended up getting, I got him on the first multi, I, I well, I grinded out him, obviously, the Videl. I got another Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT, which I'm going to feed into the agility one. Um, Topo I got, which I was super hyped. Um, I, gave, I gave him one Elder Kai so far. I'm going to probably get him up to Super Tech 10. Um, I have obviously the Boo, I got two and three Android 18s, and then I got the new Android 17, so I'm pretty hyped about that. Um, outside of that, I mean... I did get some other cool things, and I, I just I fed them all into dupes from while I could. Um, I got a whole bunch of these Turlises. I got a whole bunch of Akoras, which I gave to Baba Shop to get my points. My Baba Shop points are now renewed. <laughs> uh, and I bought pretty much all the Baba Shop characters, so pretty much everything at this point is me just using my, my little bit of Baba Shop points I have left to pick up just a couple things that I don't have anymore. But anyway, guys, that's it. I hope the event was fun and easy for you. If not, good luck. Um, it's really, it, it should be easy enough. You could bring a tech team, just get a whole bunch of them flutes and it should be fine. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today and I'll catch you all later. Peace.